welcome to G3. You've made it here today. It is December 4th, 2015. And we're almost at the end of the year. I can't believe it. Uh, the holiday season's upon us. We've gotten through Halloween, ooh, Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving, and now we have a massive uh, celebrations in my family, but uh, I think Christmas and Hanukkah are coming up, and, uh, and then the New Year. So we've got two more shows before we have a two-week break. Glad you're here today. Um, my name is Tina Chase Gilmore, and this is G3. Um, if you are uh, with us today live, uh, as we're recording on Friday, you might want to bring up your chat center at chat.center chat .center slash G3. Um, okay. Hello, ladies. Hello, Francine Hardaway. How are you? I'm wonderful. I put all my dogs out this time, so we shouldn't have any problems. Oh, we're going to miss the barking dogs. And I see in the back, I see a trampoline. I see a big... Uh, ball exercise ball you know it's a it different room than you're usually in isn't keep, it to keep this set up going but <laughs> and you're doing I a very very good job athletic equipment i own then i keep moving you, absolutely and you do a great job of that you you are my inspiration <laughs> um <laughs> hallie sue tucker hello hallie hey hi do we have you? new glasses yeah, I did actually. These are just little peepers, though. So they're very, but, they're very cute. Um, I love you. the little like uh, kind of like greenish, uh, yeah, bluish greenish here. rim, sort of on the inside or on the uh, yeah. Very yes, nice, that, very attractive. And your eye is healing up. It is. It's much better. Thank you. All, All right. Good. Had eye surgery, and they take their Star Wars laser and, and they shoot you. And mm. what did they do? Good. I don't have to go to the movie now. They shot her with a laser. <laughs> That's right. So she had a. Hey. So tell us what you had. You had a. What did you have? A, de a, a, a tear in the retina. I've had a tear in the retina before. This was a hole in my retina. They said. Mm. So I don't know if it's worse or better, but they took care of it, and I. I noticed it really quickly that something funky was happening. So that's the whole. <clears throat> the biggest part of the game, I think, is just really being aware when your health is doing something not quite right and well it's um, your eye that you have to yeah. really be aware of because i had a retinal tear too and if you get in there quickly it's nothing and if you don't get in there quickly you're blind right <laughs> it's kind and of you're a bad set of choices and you're grateful yeah. for <laughs> modern medical miracles right definitely i mean in boston is such a town for doctors and all so i'm very lucky it's really You're well good. taken the first, care of the first time i ever had any problem i didn't even know what it was right you probably had that francine where you're like what am i seeing because you see well, i was right i was swimming and i got out of the the water and first i thought it was the goggles right and then it's you see flashing in one or right. i saw flashing in one corner mm. of my eye I, I was like this is weird and so i mentioned it to my husband at the time and he he was a doctor and he said oh like, flashing <laughs> you're you're gonna have a detached retina called emergency room and right. i was like emergency room it doesn't even hurt and right Sure enough, it was an emergency, and I went in an emergency surgery with an ophthalmic surgeon. Yep. And uh, that's it. It's wow. one of those things you think, like, those guys who do that specialty, maybe they think they're going to work 9 to 5. Ha! It's worse than baby doctors, because I go in there, and he does the tests, and he's like, I'm glad you came in. I come in other times where I think I'm seeing floaters and odd things. He's like, everything's okay. This time he's like, I'm really glad you came in because we need to do surgery. And I say, when? And he's like, now. <laughs> you do it like now. Wow. It's right now. So anyway, I'm much better. Yay. And I'm glad I went in. And I want to know one, one more thing. Did you have an eye patch? Did you have a sexy eye patch? Sorry. No. no. Oh. No, See, I would have requested that. Yeah. The stuff now <laughs> is so fast and there's, you're up and going so quickly. Even cataract surgery, you barely are doing Oh, I patches. have that too. Good. Yeah. Did She's you had everything. She's had everything. Can I say hello I, to Mary Hotter? Hello, yeah. Mary Hotter. Hello. Mary, what okay. did you have? I had, I had LASIK surgery, and I had two patches on both eyes. Oh. There's a photo on Flickr of me from um, the day, because the surgery was like 11 in the morning, so I had to wear them till 
I think the next morning I could take them off, like 5 a.m. I ripped them off, and I had 2020 vision. Actually, 2015. It was super awesome. How isn't old, isn't patches on How two eyes? Is isn't that a blindfold? Well, they <laughs> they needed patches on both eyes also to keep. Um, there was like a, a structure in there to keep yeah. anything from pressing on your eye because what right. they do is they're cutting the the cornea, flapping it back, shooting you with the laser. And then doing the other one, and then there's it's not like they can just sew those back together, you know they just leave them there, and they don't want them mushed around like if you sleep on your stomach or your side and you know your cornea ah. feels funny Mary, what so happens uh, when you get to the the age where you're far sighted if you've had LASIK? You, you have that anyway like, there's no preventing that it's only for nearsighted, which is the distance mm -hmm. stuff, so I still have perfect vision I need that. for distance. But, um, but yes, the, I, and I can definitely tell that um, when my eyes are fatigued, I start to, you know, I, I can see that I will need reading glasses. Like, and they said that that would happen. That happens. Yeah, but you don't have to use reading glasses now. Here's my secret, because I don't use them. You use the flashlight on your iPhone. <laughs> that ah. flashlight. Does that help it enough? Wow. Well, it does me because the only time I need reading glasses is in restaurants to look at menus where the light is dim. Oh gosh, and I so do that now, an awful I don't lot. Even carry and, that, anymore. and that flashlight is is very bright. Oh my god, that's the brightest <laughs> flashlight on the planet. It and really I find is. myself also I find myself um using the iPhone taking a picture of some like little little tiny little words, taking the picture, blowing right. it up and reading it, right? <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Clever too. Yeah. Well, you know, a Kindle when you're reading helps you have the big. That's the other place you don't need glasses where you usually read and you have your little glasses. Hallie, can you see what your glasses are doing right I know. now? <laughs> wow. That's oh, like the whole how show. recursive it that is. Like hey, I want to show you over there too later. I got my menorah. It's a it's show and a show and a show in Hallie's yeah. glasses. <laughs> glasses. See, see my menorah? Uh, it's look, tech, low oh, tech it's AR. a beautiful one. Oh, so. uh, <laughs> you got all holiday on me. Where's well, mine? I've got this, like, I've got course, several. My husband, the last Jew. I have to keep it up. You know, I have to do the Jewish thing here. So. <laughs> I am not good, doing any holiday anything are. till the end of next week. It's just, I just don't want to. Which reminds me, guys, I'm going to be in San Francisco next week. Anybody want to meet? Me. Sure. Me. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Come on over. Florida. You got to come over this time. Or maybe we should drink. We can do that fun. here, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That sounds really fun. I would love to. Okay. okay. Great. Anybody? I would, go. I would love to see you, but I'm going to be in Florida. So. Oh, I'm so oh, that's sorry. that's where all the Jews from New York go. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. That is so politically incorrect. It's, it's so I cannot true. believe I even did that. <laughs> How it's stereotypical of you. Um, okay. Um, Actually, someone, someone, we were in a restaurant last night, an Indian restaurant, and someone said, if you say that the food tastes authentic, it's now considered very uncool because <laughs> it's politically not correct. Because basically, you, I don't know. I don't even understand that one. That is just <laughs> so kidding? far off the charts to say that something is authentic is, is just weird. It was very... Is it now I'm gonna make now I'm gonna make Mary get her head way up to the top of the screen. I'm gonna leave yeah. her super Sorry. on so that Sydney. you don't get. Yeah, as you notice, I, it's in I a, have all my Muslim garb. Can you see? It's in a little. Like, we, we got the Mary. Sit on it. Sit on it. <laughs> you know, we, I've book. got the 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 mirror back there. Can you see it? The star <laughs> light. Yeah, you know, got the whole thing. So we moved all the furniture all around in the house for Thanksgiving and. Uh, and you like um, it, I bet. Do this. And we really like it. So yeah. we're now working on the dining table in a different part of the house. So com totally different lighting. I'm kind of still getting used to it oh. and figuring out like what works. There's a giant window here. Obviously, lots of light coming in this way. So I don't know. We'll just see how it works. Oh, well, we you like it. You know, if you it. live in the same house for too long without moving and you, yeah. and you don't move the furniture around, you're crazy. We... You know, I had cut the cord. We discussed that last week. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, after two weeks of cutting the cord, I decided that I wanted to have TV back because there were a couple of things I couldn't get. <laughs> the one among them, the Nick, 
which drove me crazy because I love it. So I decided instead of having direct TV, which was expensive, I would take advantage of Cox's uh, offer, you know, 1995 start em up offer. And so we did that, but when we put the cable back, we had to move all the furniture around in the media room. And mm. that furniture has been the same way for 10 years. And first of all, when we did it, wow. the amount of dust that came up out of <laughs> right. the rug mm -hmm. and the furniture just yeah. scared the shit out of me. So <laughs> I, I think one ought to move one's furniture every now and then yeah, just, yeah. Mm -hmm. just, just for, for that. that. I but bet. we rearrange well, the furniture and it's just so much nicer. Well, let's rearrange so the furniture in here and talk about something. Too. Oh, wait, Mary, wait, show, Mary wants to show just, us her furniture I just anyway. Showed, I just showed, so basically oh. we had a whole bunch of furniture in here, and now we just have this one giant sofa. Yeah, and, that's uh, beautiful. Actually, you can see all of the rest yep. of our Middle Eastern that's, garb. That's oh, good. nice. I like that. Looks good, looks good. So, it looks, it's really actually very nice. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to invite you two ladies over when Francine's in town you can tell me how I can rearrange my furniture <laughs> but right we now do let's, it with you. let's re or let's just, just do it push, let's just lock Tina out we'll and have to furniture around. we'll have to send Steve Gilmore <laughs> far away because he he won't stuff. like it he doesn't like things that change all that much oh, so like um men are like that what's been like going that. on in the uh in our world and I and I mean that broadly so you know Hey, can we talk a little Zuckerberg and giving all the money? And Let's talk a, a little Zuckerberg. Why not? Okay, they, that'll put me on a rant, Hallie, because uh oh, everybody's ranting. Okay, <laughs> let let let's let's let Hallie I Hallie, you brought it up. Let's make a comment generally about talking about anything. Sort of Good lord, you're talking all the same I just time. Want to make a general comment. There has been so much ranting the past <laughs> few days about several things that I literally just feel like the world is nuts and I don't even want to read any of it. I it's just it's, too much. It it's is. Like, it's like random. You know, I don't know. I mean, not that, you know, I don't want to look at any of the serious things going on on the planet, but my God, like the rants are just insane right now. Climate change, the San Bernardino thing, the media, the um, the Zuckerberg the thing. politics. Like, what's wrong? The politics. What is wrong with everyone? Can't ever just take it down a notch. It's the holidays. You know? it's, it's not the just it's the holidays and the shootathon. Come on, I think people are really stressed. Yeah, yeah. and it's coming it's out everywhere. We said we weren't going to talk about that. I'm not well, talking about it except about stress. I have to say, if it's you think stress. people are not feeling stress, yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, of course. Even and if it's just holiday stress. The holidays are absolutely <laughs> the worst and most stressful time of year. But well, I, I don't people even should care. take like, that out on Mark Zuckerberg's baby. So let's. So let's. How are we gonna? How are we gonna talk about the Mark Zuckerberg topic? Hallie, so you brought it my, up. What I'll, do you want to say about it? I'll talk a little about it, which is that I did <laughs> read. I, it kind of hits home. It's back to the holidays. I have a sister who ended up being kind of the wealthiest sibling we have and a few years ago started sending us a piece of paper that said happy holidays we've made a charitable charitable donation in your name and <laughs> my version is and we get nothing but you get a tax deduction <laughs> so we were all like yeah great thanks and I did read a piece about the Zuckerberg uh, donation that is really a great tax advantage for him no, and that's not what he said. You know, I, it, in, uh oh, here first, we go. <laughs> yeah, here it goes. For, and you know, my and because it, this is like Steve Jobs, right? About about people saying I knew Steve Jobs. Okay, well, I've met Mark Zuckerberg, and I know Randy quite well, and I know the older Zuckerberg. Randy, his sister. His sister. Yeah. And I've met the older Zuckerbergs, and they are the most. They are the nicest family. They are a, when you see what the family looks like, you know, then you know who Mark is. And so whatever Mark did when his baby was born, you know, he did out of some kind of benevolent and good gesture because face facts, he hit the lottery. When he did something, he started doing something at 19. He didn't expect any of this. He had no motive, no nothing. And he hit the lottery. 
so he so he does this for his for his child. He's and the fact that it's an LLC and not a charity, he wrote yesterday in answer to some of his critics that that isn't it would have been a tax advantage for him if he had put it in a foundation, but he purposely didn't because he wanted more freedom to do things that to contribute to things that might help the world but not be nonprofit. Because it's not okay. only nonprofits that help the world. All right, I have one reply to that. Is somebody stealing somebody's silverware and counting it before they steal it? I think that's at Mary's house. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I was on mute. Oh, that was no, me. It's my, no, 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 no. It's my, my <laughs> housekeeper is putting away stuff. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> somebody so better bang, say. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I want to mention Actually, that um, was my other sibling got broken into this week and people stole ooh. her artwork. She's a painter. Wow. I couldn't believe oh it. Like, they didn't take. You know, the iPads silver. and and uh, any uh, computer stuff. They went well, tell her to take it as a compliment. Well, it's like they pulled every single. You know how artists have a million boxes and places to put their paper and places to put their all their supplies. They kind of totally wrecked all that and took a bunch of her artwork, which oh was my goodness. Wow, I, it's like that's crazy. A thief trained at the Waldorf Academy. Yeah, right. I'm like, like what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> But they either they have the taste. either they a really know what they're doing or they really don't. Or if somebody's gonna have a great Christmas. Christmas it'll look like they got it all from Etsy or SD <laughs> or whatever it's called. Well, it'll be an, a unique Christmas gift for whoever they <laughs> yeah. give it to. Because it's so, not the kind so, of thing you can rock for drugs, you know. It's like that's the thing. Like what? It, like only in Boston, you got people who are like, you know, I want the gilt box, not the lacquer one. I can buy it, <laughs> Hamica Schlemmer, or get it. You know, it's very strange, but so so, so back to I, the Zuckerberg thing. Yes, I, I back have to the comment. Zuckerberg so, thing. I, I think, first of all, I would really recommend reading um, Anil Dash's write-up on this. He, okay. he writes up his version yes, he of how to look good. at this. It's a, it's a nice article. And um, he kind of goes through point by point mm -hmm. some of the criticisms. And I, and I agree with some of it. Um, and I'll, I'll also um, stick it on the chat center here in just a second. But, um, but the thing that I, that I like about it, I have it open right here, is, I mean, a lot of the, the criticism, I think, some of it anyway, seems to come out of, you know, uh, general anger. I mean, there are a lot of issues right now in our world, and people who are very rich aren't paying very many taxes. So the whole notion that he has this much money to give away, it's like, well, why didn't you pay some of that in taxes? Well, that's our current tax structure. So, okay, whatever. But the other thing that, um, I, and I, I don't have a problem with the LLC, but that's probably because I understand corporate structures, and I agree. I mean, it does give them more flexibility. The, the one problem that I have with it, I think, and I'm kind of torn, is the notion that you would make this big public gesture. Now, on the one hand, that's great because then lots of people will see that and hopefully other people who are wealthy but less, you know, who are fanboys but less um, wealthy will give along the same lines. They'll actually say, wow, right. you know, if I'm that rich, I could give 99 or 98 or 90 percent of my wealth. That would be really cool. But on the flip side, I mean, when I was growing up, and I know people don't do this now because everybody's in self-promotion mode 24-7, but <laughs> my parents would give a, gave a ton of money away every year. And, it, and we sat down and talked about it when we were kids, like about what things we were doing. And, but they always said, don't tell people. Like this is a, these are, you know, we're, it was, it Mary, was sort of, you, it was that not for self-aggrandizement. He's the CEO of a what? public company giving away shares. There's no way without making I a know. public statement that that I, isn't going to come out. But, but the thing is, is so when Sergey and Anne made their foundation, this is before they were divorced, um, they, you know, they didn't make a huge public statement. They just put the shares in there. And the foundations, you know, invested and started to distribute. I mean, the, by making this big public um, statement, it's, it does have a certain effect. And it, it is, I mean, I do have a certain kind of a, a feeling about it that it's sort of like the, the self-aggrandizing effect of it 
bothers me. But what about yeah, what about the flip side of that? I, what about this to you? What, it's funny. What about what about the other side of that, which is here's what we're doing. How about you do it too if you can? Well, that's can. the example. That's let why me, I said. Let I'm me read this to you though, because there's one of the dear other. mom and dad. This is from the baby. Dear mom and dad. First, if you have something to say, you can say it to my face instead of posting it on the internet for the whole goddamn world to see. <laughs> Second, congrats on out humble bragging the world. Seriously, <laughs> how can anyone else post to Facebook about their newborn child when you've set the bar at giving away $45 billion in Facebook <laughs> shares to cure death or whatever crazy world salvation and tax evasion was in that long essay? Third, what are you doing? Those were going to be my shares and you're giving them to charity and not just any charity, your own charity, which technically isn't even a charity, but a limited liability corporation, SMH. I get it. I'm going to be rich for the rest of my life with nothing to worry about other than that I will be the most observed person on the planet with literally everyone being aware of every move I make for the rest of my life. But come on, dudes. Don't take the one thing that was going to be cool about being your kid, the money, and warp it into me being responsible for fixing the world that your generation and the baby boomers fucked up. That's totally on you guys. Sincerely. Max, P.S. Dad, please don't ever milk me for retweets again. Yeah, I said retweets, asshole. I wish I was Jack Dorsey's or Ev Williams's daughter. Now change my diaper. I just wrecked it. Okay, who wrote that? The Daily Show. Oh, that's really funny. That's Isn't good. that funny? funny? I thought it was phenomenally right. funny. And it captured the whole the whole mm -hmm. thing mary totally. every yeah. you know was like yeah. everything yeah. that you like and don't like and everything that anil dash likes and doesn't like and mm -hmm. everything i said just the whole the whole thing well you know whether it's um uh publicized in a, in a big way in a big announcement or it's done quietly um better done than not done well that's yes. my point Right. You know, did you notice how many things weren't said, or maybe they're all in some gossip rag, and I miss? Where did they have that baby? You know, you think oh. about what most people post when they have a baby on Facebook is the oh, we're running to the hospital, okay? And then there's a post, ah, she's in what labor you... for twenty three thousand hours, and then Wah! and then at least her hair is oh, messed they up, had it. and she's like holding the baby. Okay, so no, what we get is this. <laughs> perfect picture which I felt like that's photoshopped and they glued the baby in <laughs> come on look at it what why? Annie Leibovitz you know? was on call well um did they wh when what day did they I was wondering what day they did the photo yeah, and what day the baby was actually baby. born do we know one day over Thanksgiving when because I know Randy said she was there one day over the Thanksgiving week uh, yeah. Wait, so they <coughs> did take a picture and slip the baby in later? No. How God. God. They also had, I like, right. the, here's Can our you... family picture that uh, we asked our family friend Annie Leibowitz to do. Well, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I know. You it's know, you photograph a photographer, you know. Come so. on, if you're that rich, of course you go out and get of the best. Of course you Let's would. Let's go do it. But sure. kind of talk about like it's a family picture, like everybody gets. A, there was, if you think of how people use Facebook to talk about having a baby, that was not typical. Nor, I mean, maybe well, nor should it be, but I mean, actually, it, it was as if it was trying to be both. But when you say, um, you know, of course they're rich and they would go out and get the best, that's not necessarily the case. You know, um, uh, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, the Cape Middleton, whatever, you know, the <laughs> first people. kid. Her She's still using her maiden name? Oh, well, anyway, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't I'm know just what kidding. Whoever, Come on. You know that. Kate Cambridge, I don't know. I anyway. don't think he has a last name, so, but see, so here's she may the as well. Problem. Anyway, the problem is nobody wait, has wait, 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 hang on, Francine, hold on. I just want to make the point. 
when when they had a kid, they could get anybody. They could get any you know right. any Leibowitz or Mario Testino, who by the way takes I think the pictures of the Queen or something. But they her father took a picture in their backyard mm-hmm. of the three of them, and then with the kid, the the second kid, she took the picture of the kid that mm-hmm. got posted, and so it's like. Actually, it's not really necessary to hire Annie Leibovitz or of to. Of course, it's or, not oh, necessary. Our friend Annie Leibovitz just dropped by, and like again, it's this. <laughs> I mean, it is so obnoxious. It's <laughs> it's like you. you know, seven point three billion people on the planet cannot have this done, but we're having it done, and we're going to brag I, about yeah, it. Okay, I I, I might I might give it to you that I would have rather seen <clears throat> a personal, very cozy personal picture on the couch. With them ooing and eyeing over their, you know, baby face. There. I'm not so. giving anything to any of you because <laughs> this is a world in which nobody has any privacy. And if you happen to be a public person of any kind, celebrity, CEO, who's after all only 30, you know, I mean, come on. You, oh, everything wait, are you that saying anyone would do privacy? would be wrong. What? The guy who gave away all our privacy deserves privacy? I'm not saying he deserves privacy. I am just saying what that does this have to do with we privacy? all get to comment on things that we never used to be able to comment on before. And none of it is <laughs> any of our fucking business. And it, the fact that we it. are a, allowed to comment, you know, well, it should be some kind of gift and some kind of sharing and not some kind of schadenfreude. I'm, I but hate they put it out there. Then why say who did the photo? I mean, then just post the photo. I mean, it's a show off, is what it is. I, well, never mind. <laughs> I mean, pissed. I love with Francine, so she's almost never pissed at us. Oh, maybe she's always pissed at us, and I forgot. Um, I am pissed because I think it's a, it's you, too much, too much analysis for somebody's private life who has done something good and had a baby they've been trying to have for years and years. So, you know, that's the other thing. This baby came after, what, three miscarriages or something like that. So it's a BFD. Hey, you know how many people have three miscarriages? About four billion zillion women. So I don't don't even see that as so special, honestly. I don't know. You know what? Uh, here's here's what I think. I mean, I'm sure they took a gazillion pictures of their kid themselves. Um, I, I obviously so they had Annie those. Leibovitz do it too, and they liked that one, and they wanted to post that one. And you know, and so maybe it isn't the cozy picture on the couch that I might be hoping for, but it's what they wanted to post. And um, they have a nice, healthy child. That's what's important. Huge. And they're uh, introducing her into the world. Also, in, in tandem, they're talking about um, a donation that they're making to try to better the world for her and, and, and her, her generation. So, you know, we should all be so lucky that we can give away a fortune and, um, and do some good. Okay, so the left side of the screen is sort of pro Mark Zuckerberg, and the right side of the screen. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to keep the peace. That's what I I'm doing. The, let me say for the right side of the screen that we're talking well, let, okay, about let me put it, media let me put it this and way. how media presents itself and how certain. I mean, it is a, an interesting question. I think there's the right side of the people screen. People who want to be so public, media and show off these celebrities how they control their own media, but they're quick to let everybody else's privacy or media go all over the place. So I think that's a piece of it that I find interesting. I don't know what this has to do with Mary, privacy. It, let well, Mary talk I mean, to the... I want to hear Mary on I don't, the right I side. I don't know. Team. I'm not sure about the privacy piece either. I mean, either Francine's idea that it's, you know, it's their private business or whatever. They put it out publicly. Um my my issue with it is they're 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 in the dot oh 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 one percent you know upper 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 class right and and at that point you're not middle class you're not <laughs> you can't just put random shit out there and everybody thinks oh well whatever I exactly. mean it's you're different 
And, exactly. and so when you start putting things out that really differentiate yourself even more, you're ripe for criticism. And I think they totally deserve it. They're kind of tone deaf to to regular people. They don't understand what regular people do anymore. They're too far away from it. See, and I, so I, I just I, don't... I, again, you know, I don't... I don't think that that was as tone deaf as if they had said, I am a regular person, here's my picture of my wife in labor. You know, like some people actually do put those pictures up. I, you know, what would have, would we have really wanted so, that? So, yeah, yes, I would have preferred that. Here's really? the way I, the, I look at it. How, what did it cost? Twenty, thirty thousand dollars to have any Leibowitz come and shoot some, you know, snapshots, snapshots on the sofa. I mean, the, half the world exists. Did you just on say snapshots at first? I did, <laughs> I did. It was a Freudian <laughs> slip. Banana peel. There's a baby. Anyway, That's all the, good. But my point. I'm sorry. The sun's coming in. I'm not getting used to this uh, lighting here. Um, but the. I'm but my, my lawn. point is, is that. You know, half the world exists on a dollar a day, and they're yeah. literally worrying about where that dollar is going to come from. And and those guys want to put out their twenty, thirty thousand dollar photos for everyone to you but know ooh and not. on, think wow they're so cool. I just don't. Why I do they? I'd have been happy if they said, I, I, I took I, our I, own I, photo I, on the set. Wait a second. And wait a second. Thirty grand for people to eat in India. Mark Zuckerberg you know? is the CEO of Facebook. He is not like everyone else. Why should he protect? Pretend that he is. Why That's does he have to? Today. Why why does he have to be like, oh, I'm living on a dollar a day? He's not. Why should he even Of course he's not. Okay. Of course he's not. We're actually, we're but but you're to saying he's shoving it's... it in everyone's face and making people feel bad. On the other I hand I do think he's making feel, people feel bad. I, I do don't. think he's doing that. I think he is showing people a baby picture of which he yeah. is proud. And yes, I think if he was showing off a mansion, if he was showing off a jet, if he was saying, hey, my family flies in luxury. We don't, you know, we don't do this. We don't do that. But, you know, if I if I could hire Annie Leibowitz and I got a great photo out of it, I fucking would post it on Facebook. (laughs) Well, you know, the truth of the matter is that my foster kids have babies. And when they're babies, and they are not living on a dollar a day, but they're not Mark Zuckerberg either, and they're somewhere more toward the dollar a day people, the first freaking thing they do is go get a professional baby picture service to take those baby pictures. And it probably costs them an arm and a leg and their salary to do it. Right. In their, you know, lexicon or proportionally or whatever, you know, I don't have math metaphors, but, you know, (laughs) but in their world, that's the same type of expense. And they do it. They do it. As are expensive weddings and bat mitzvahs and things like that, that people sometimes do because... Right. That's no, no, what wait, they wait, do. Wait. So you do that in your like culture or your photo community. That is very middle class with Annie Leibovitz's photos. That is a really. There's no comparison. No, I'm compa- I'm comparing how people feel when they have their first child, and often sure. calling a professional photographer at what is Sorry. in proportionally a high cost to them. That's, but when that's they what. post that they got the photo done at Sears. It's it's much more um, restrained kind Wait, of gesture what than say? what I would. I mean, to me, putting that the photo was by Annie Leibovitz was an extremely <laughs> poor taste, and I do think hey, it made Facebook is the only place place where it's acceptable to put whatever to picture you Listen, want on your wall. I got to tell you, my sister watches the show. She hates that sign and I says know. that it's like advertising. I know. On I, and, and I've been thinking about what Jean said, and I think I'm going to take it down soon. <laughs> Okay. Glad I didn't, so I could do that. <laughs> and by the way, if I have one more person say Mackinac to me, I'm going to... Are you kidding me? Yeah. I'm in Mackinac Island. I've been it's Mackinac called Mackinac. I don't know why. I think it's because it's... Times. Is it French? I, why, does it, why is it pronounced Mackinac? Because it is. Because it is. Thank you. That's it. Where is it? There. It's, it's the ultimate place because there's still no cars, right? That's right. It's in between the Upper Peninsula of, May, of Michigan. Michigan, right? Yes. And it's a place where on the ground you see uh, horse shit because there are horses, many horses there. And they sell you fudge, which looks oh. the same. 
in shops. <laughs> it's it's an same. awesome place. <laughs> So yeah, it's like, let me tell you, you walk cool. down the street, and at first you see, you get this like the waft of this fudge, and so it's like, it's oh like wow, vomit. that's wonderful. And then right. after about ten minutes, it's so sickeningly sweet in the air right. that you can't stand it anymore. And there's so much of it. And I haven't been there in years, but I am from Michigan, and um, I have been there a few times. And it's a one, it is a wonderful place, and it is, as Hallie said, just between the Upper and Lower Peninsula. Right. It is an island. Um, I the nearly coast married a guy from Petoskey, and I've been to Harbor Springs, and wow. I've been to Traverse City, where they have the biggest cherry pie. You know, well, people don't people no don't often get to week. Michigan because it's one of those places that you don't really travel <laughs> through to get anywhere. Yeah, it's a peninsula, so you have to really make a kind of a pilgrimage to to go and and visit it or you know yeah it's so not I that well visited. So I gather there isn't any tech news this week. Well, oh. that's what I was wondering about. You you all just want to talk about uh photographs. Uh not so. <laughs> well, it's not but it's not the photograph. It's really more about like how do we treat people online because of the economic disparity and the fact that we the way we treat each other in the US is whatever your net worth is that's your value in the in society but, you unfortunately know, no, I, I think that's it's more, what a lot of society um, it, does it's more so, hypocritical to try to treat everybody equally uh, I, i'll switch this discussion to something even less germane to a tech show a uh, detective please from do the police department <laughs> because called we're me all yesterday. about no tech here okay Wait, go ahead a, a, a detective from the police you? department called me yesterday and said something to me about my dogs and you know the usual thing that happens about my dogs this is somebody who was going through a bunch of old notes from before i settled that in court and i ended up talking to her for about 45 minutes and one of the things she said to me is D do you think there should be an exception made for you in the law? And I said, yes, I believe there <laughs> should be an exception made for disabled people who can't walk their dogs on a leash. And so she said, she said, well, we treat everybody equally here. And I said, perhaps that's your first mistake. <laughs> and, you know, but in Arizona? But but that's how I feel about mm. yeah. They, in Arizona, they like to say they treat everybody ah, equally. Yeah, no, right. just make sure but you don't I, have dark it, skin and make sure you have your license and your papers on you. But <laughs> that's really kind of the same, you know, the same thing that Mary's talking about, or that we're all talking about. That Mark Zuckerberg uh, you should know, only be I posting. Thought, you know what? I just think that it's all relative, Mary. I mean, I have I have posted photographs of. Uh, outside of my window, I have this f spectacular view of the Pacific Ocean. You know, there's not a lot of people in the world that have that. Um, mm -hmm. There's a certain amount, but, you know, a lot of people don't get that. I don't live in a spectacular house, but I have this wonderful view, and I feel very fortunate. But I don't sit there and say, you know, I shouldn't pay, post this picture because other people can't see this, they can't live this, and they're going to feel bad. And I yeah, think I feel we the do same talk way. about I this. We do on the Biltmore Golf Course. We do talk about this sometimes on Facebook when we talk about how we post all of our good stuff, but we don't post our shitty days, do we? We don't post when we're depressed, no. worn mm -hmm. out, confused. Um, you know, oh our God, kids are driving us see. crazy. Our uh, significant others have a, you know, some problem. I mean, we don't do that. Many so, people do. So many, many well, people do. People, you know, like Erin Kataki Vest, Queen of well, Spain. Okay. Do you know her? Yeah. She she has lupus, and yeah. she is she has just been posting her struggle with lupus since she was. But that's since Erin's life right now. I mean, basically, you know, she's posting her life. We what I'm what I'm what I'm saying though is that, um, you know, we use this media to convey certain things and not certain other things. Most of us, right? Um, so I don't know. It's like, are we are we trying? Is is this reality television that we're supposed to be conveying? Am I Which supposed? Is never reality. It's not. 
Well, that, that's a, this is a very, it, this is such a complex point. I, I love this point because it is so complex. Mm -hmm. What are we supposed to be posting or not posting on any social medium? You know, and we are constantly tangled in the lack of rules for yep. what constitutes public information and whether that's something we determine or what's or appropriate something to the share. viewer determines. Well, I'll tell you some answers some people have. Um, like Guy Kawasaki talks about this all the time, that he says he is out there to post stuff that informs people and educates people. And if he does that, the agreement with his audience is that every now and then he will post something that like promotes him. Now, some people would say he promotes himself all too much, but that's his thinking, that you give people content the, and he says it's like NPR type content that informs them and that justifies that every eighth post or whatever you can say I'm gonna be speaking at this event and please come hear me so I don't know that's his logic what do, so there's a ratio post? huh a ratio an acceptable ratio that's there's an algorithm says, to that, what's acceptable I feel the same way, although I never heard him say that before. It's kind of interesting. I feel like most of the time I share content that I've read from somewhere or that I've written on the basis of things that I've read and learned, and I'm very aware that I need to post content that is worth reading by mm -hmm. others and that they will then forgive me if every once in a while I post, you know, a picture of my dogs laying on my bed. Mm -hmm. But that's so, so different from somebody who I might think, only I think you're post saying the same family thing. stuff. I think you're saying the same thing. There's a ratio, I am. right? I am saying the same thing. There's, there you're is gonna, something. You're going to slide in a couple of those things that are just for you, that make right. you laugh that you're interested, that you don't really think that other people are going to be interested in, or... Or that, that are about... bad news. Or that are bad news. Okay, you know? okay, I, that's fair. Don't you think there's a lot of people who actually aren't even posting that much, but really just commenting and liking and reading and mm -hmm. trying to be part of a group of people that are, like, comment, like... And I have is there dear, anything wrong with that? I have really? a dear friend who sits on Facebook all day long and never, in fact, I have, now that I think about it, I've got Many lots of people. friends who sit on Facebook all day long and watch what's going on and don't post. Okay, so what, what are you saying about that? Are you making a judgment about it? Is what I'm trying I, to I'll ask. You're making a statement. What's the, what's the, is it okay? My, my point of view, and they have all the records on this, this is growing out of blogging, there was always a very limited number of people who wanted to make content and many people who wanted to view or interact, whatever interact with content meant. Yeah, it's like 20% of the as people. as a writer, of content. course, I would rather read, write, and share content. But most people apparently don't. So you're saying most people don't? Most yeah, people are. Yeah, there's a big number. Mm -hmm. It's something like 20% are makers and 80% are viewers, lurkers, exactly. watchers. Is that, is that maybe not the, is, maybe that's the right ratio. Maybe that's the right ratio for it to work. What I'm saying is, is it, is it a problem that there's a whole bunch of people who are, who are just commenting and liking, or is that the, a necessary amount of, is that, isn't that a necessary part of the environment and the, <laughs> the system? Hey, I got to say that is so not a quotable statistic, but that's in my head generally from reading over many years. Oh, okay. So somebody, somebody, somebody should look that up. Somebody quick look on. that up. Mary, and do you have any it. numbers on it? I don't. But I, I have been thinking about what you all are talking about, and, and my sense of this is, is that um, for me, and I get that this probably isn't the case for hardly anybody else but for me the purpose of connecting on Facebook is either to talk about ideas or to to share personal events that I can actually bond with somebody over and if I'm showing off all the time about my photos taken by Annie Leibovitz I'm probably <laughs> not bonding with anyone I'm probably just making most people I know feel really bad and I don't want to do that wow. so that's kind of my opinion about it 
I would rather post things that are about connecting with people, not pushing them away. And that's my problem with the photos and the and this issue generally is am I posting things that bring my group, my people together? Okay. Hey, I'm yes. reading I got it's some stats and actually it's even worse, way so worse than I thought, which is they're saying ninety percent <clears throat> work or read or like and ten percent create. I mean, what is creating? Is posting an article? That's not really creating, but you're posting the article. I mean, a lot of people post a lot of articles or a lot of photos or a lot of videos or whatever. And in fact, um, Zuckerberg was, there was a recently an article that I think we passed around in our group about how he wanted to change Facebook into a place where something like 80% of the posts were video posts. That's the goal oh. over the next four years. And imagine them all starting to play at once. Yikes. Anyway. Uh, well, that, um, is, that is starting, isn't it? Aren't they opening up uh, they're uh, all, the live yeah, they all, to some yeah. more, another rung of people who are going to be testing the, not just the sure, but hipster videographers. Is, if, you're posting, if you're posting something that somebody else created and, I don't know, making a comment or whatever, there's your little bit of you know, your comment or your commentary, whatever. And then there's the comment thread, but the main piece that you're posting wasn't made by you. I post most things that were not made by me. I mean, I occasionally will put up my own, you know, blog post from Napsterization or somewhere, but I mean, I'm reposting too. Does that put me in the 10% or does that put me in the 90%? Hey, guess well, what? I found the other question. number. In fact, it says... You're asking what a post is. The, yeah. it, the, the exactly. 1% rule, this is from Wikipedia, says that uh, pertaining to participation in an internet community that only 1% of the users of a website actually create content, 99% lurk, and there are variations on this where 1, a 90, and a 90 rule, sometimes written as 90-9-1, states mm -hmm. that in a collaborative website, uh, ninety percent of participants uh, only view content. Nine edit or participate in content, and one creates new stuff. So, first of all, also, us what about the sharing? Show. That's the question I think Tina's trying to get at, and I, that's really an important question. Or Mary, because I do what Mary does a lot of the time. I share content that someone else has created that I right. think is better than you know, to say something that I want said or that I don't want said but I want out there than what I could have done myself. So I share it around. But are we, are we all just buying Hallmark cards? Yeah, in, in some be, ways. Or, <laughs> or sharing. I mean, share, I mean, there's sharing photos, video, text, yeah. you know, articles, whatever. I mean, I, a lot of the people in my Facebook feed tend to show a lot of of content from other places and I like it because it's a filter, right? They're basically saying this is stuff right. that's worth looking at. This is important. This is bubbling up. Just, yeah, versus me just randomly trolling the news, which mm -hmm. I don't have time for. But if somebody right. posts like three interesting um, pieces, video, articles, news, whatever, I like that. I like the filters. So but I'll do you, it, you know? do you We're like it when it's, do you other. like do you like the yeah. the uh, original posts? Do you like the uh, posts that are not referencing an article or a survey or a poll? I do, but you know what's interesting? In the Facebook kind of milieu, mm -hmm. they basically, in many ways, um, downgrade those because the text, if you, if you post text, you get a few lines and then it says more. Yeah. If, you if you post an article and usually there's a photo, then you get larger text with the title of the article or the blog post or whatever, and you get the whatever, you know, uh, photos or whatever with it, video. And now it takes up much more space. It's much more prominent on the page. They really downgrade personal words that yep. don't come with they photos do. or other things. Mm -hmm. It's really, I think it's kind of terrible. Yeah, here we go back to the know, algorithm. By the Great way, before we, before we carry on, I just want to say that the sun is making this awesome highlight in your hair, Mary, and I really think you should think <laughs> about you. it. <laughs> well, I no, do no, have a I, highlight in my hair. Well, this is a really bold highlight, and it looks quite cool. 
<laughs> so I'm thinking you want to go to the beauty shop the next time and get a Thanks. really bright Give highlight. That's right. Okay. I it's, want my video. Sun inspired. Sun that inspired. Really looks terrific. Hey, so let me throw one thing out. Do you remember that the Jennifer Lawrence piece about she wasn't being paid fairly yeah. came out and then it was all over all this media. It actually originated in the new uh, Lena Dunham Lenny mm -hmm. right. uh, newsletter and what I hate if you want to talk about sharing content is when people don't um, give any attribution to the original source and yeah. it, it's happening all the time and it could be that. I mean even you know in Twitter when you retweet with a quote, it becomes smaller under it. And the, like, you're right, it gets like this smaller, smaller, smaller. But often, I notice in that particular t time with that particular article, almost even really well known journalism uh, outlets were not quoting where that had come from. And mm. I was like, that is shit, especially it's a new newsletter. They're trying to mm -hmm. support their newsletter, and it's a woman-run business. Thanks. Nobody wrote anything about it. Well, mm -hmm. especially it, when publishers are really upset when people don't give attribution to material that they generate. Absolutely. I mean, I think we ought to be doing more to encourage attribution. I'm sure just, there's just a in lot. general. And I think, but I think what Hallie's saying is some of the tools are... Um, <laughs> You know, the, the tools are starting to lose the attribution. You know, you share, you retweet, and all of a sudden, uh, along the way, it has lost the attribution the somehow. The so trail, Facebook yeah. took that yeah. out recently. They had a way that if I shared one of your posts, it would say via Mary Hotter. Yeah. And right. the value for that was that if somebody wanted to track back, they could go to me, then they would see who I shared it from. They yeah. could right. go back three layers or four layers, find the original post, and then see what it really was. But now it's really hard to do that. Yeah, what yeah. happened to that? They they've changed it's, they that just around. It. It's gone. I think that there's some. Isn't there something though? Like um, at the top, it'll say like Tina uh, Hall Chase Gilmore, whatever my name is on Facebook, um, uh, via someone. Or do, are you saying it doesn't it, do that anymore? It, was, it's it not doesn't via, do that. It doesn't. No. So it, now if you click on share on my post and I've shared it from somebody else, mm -hmm. you'll see anybody who shared from my post. Mm -hmm. You won't see where I got it from. So uh -huh. that chain of activity is mm -hmm. gone. And I think it, that was one of the ways that we could track back attribution, especially mm -hmm. yep. because um, I have shared a number of times someone will have a really cool write-up of just a piece of text, an opinion, a thought. And I will share that thought. And so I'll have to put it back in now in the title that this came from so-and-so and it's actually yeah. theirs, you know, that they wrote this and I'm sharing what they wrote. It's, it's really odd and I don't know why Facebook did that. Um, I suspect it might have something to do with the whole thing where they're trying to keep that kind of metadata in-house because that's valuable to them and they don't, they don't want people to know. I don't know, maybe they thought it was cluttering up the page. Is it I'm really not go, sure why. It might be page load times. It might, be, it might be page load times. Isn't it that you would go off to another place and they want to play silo as much as possible and keep you right there in Facebook? Well, no, well, that's true. And, no, because where it that came would just from was another you. Facebook page. Right. What do they care if I'm at another Facebook page? Yeah. It was I always guess, linking to another Facebook page. You know, I find it there's dark times in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. when I realize no matter what I write, I'm going to get about not maybe $2,000 for an article, but $20. <laughs> and this is in a time when we are constantly creating free content for all these systems. Notice this is a product that we create the content for. This is and Dave that's what we sign up for when we sign up for Facebook. For uh, let me let me just it's, let's, it's a big deal. Let's close the show with this. So I get a follower today on Twitter, and it's and the and the follower is called We Sell Followers. Oh. And <laughs> when you click and when you read the uh, bio, the bio, there's a bio, <laughs> the yeah. bio. The bio says, buy followers and likes for your Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And that is a Silicon Valley yeah. gift right there. Someone in Silicon Valley is doing that, which I just think like, Whoa. Uh, the buying, buying uh, viewers, 
In buying other words, someone readers, who knows what buying doing followers is the most the bullshit thing you could community. possibly do. What are we saluting? What are we doing? That's the voice. I'm get. blocking the sun. The sun has moved a bit, and I'm like trying to move. I thought you were saluting, and <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> I salute I you. I have a little bit of glare right there. <laughs> now Mary's doing something even different. She's doing like something like go. this. She's going like. You guys have sun. I don't have sun here in Phoenix. What's, What's wrong with that? you? <laughs> yeah, I don't but have it's cold sun here. Either. It's not so sunny here. But it's so, it's now, been, now, it's now, been oh. very sunny after a couple of days of rain, but it's cold. I mean, we've been doing, you know, 30 at night and 50 in the day or 50s in the day. I think it's supposed to be like 55 today. I could look. This is, anyway, the time of the, the, this is the time of the year when you come to the coast. It's just a little bit warmer. Yeah. Than the rest of okay. the uh, area, is which it? is always yeah, yeah. Why? Because wow, no in the idea. in the summer we're colder and in the winter we're warmer. I oh. don't know. That's science. You got to ask us. You know, someone who knows something. I'll tell, about you, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. So the reason is, is because Mary. the air in the in the ocean stays pretty consistently. You know. Um, a warm, warm-ish temperature. Yes. Really? And in the summertime in the Central Valley, you have all this heat, right? It's 105 or whatever. And the heat rises and it pulls what is then the cooler air from the coast over, creating yes. fog over the, over the, um, you know, everywhere from, over I don't know, me. Palo Alto to San Francisco to Marin. Um, and sometimes sucking it all the way into the Livermore Valley and whatnot. In the summer? In the, in the summer. In the winter, the reverse happens. It's cold in the Central Valley. The air doesn't rise. It's it's quite a bit cooler. It's 30s, 20s, and so the the air at the coast is warm, and so the air at the coast pulls air over, you know, and and um, basically you're getting more sun and more warmth than than what's inland, and so the inland area gets foggy. You know, the high, highway five fog stuff that always happens, and I don't know. There's big crash ups. Basically, and stuff. it's the vacuum yeah. and the reverse vacuum. Exactly. And that's okay. what's done. Got it. Yeah. In terms that I can understand. Vacuum and reverse vacuum. Although right. I, I don't know what is reverse vacuum. A reverse vacuum is a very <laughs> interesting know, image in my eyes. Where the vacuum acid. vacuums up all the pet hair and the dust. Yeah, if, if you the have vacuum that, gives it back. Yeah. The history yeah. of my family it would be pathetic. That this has so been an so interesting so show. We got kind of like we stuck on this one general area and uh, didn't didn't let it go. I think it's huge. I, I actually think it's I, huge. I don't think we got I, far know, enough into I, it. I think I it's, have to say, I love I the exploration you guys of it. Didn't mention, we talked about filters and we talked about babies. You know, these new most popular baby names are the Instagram filter names. What? Did you read? Did what? you read that? What are you talking about? Say it, okay. People tell us. People are naming their babies after you know Instagram the filters like Hilo and Phoenix or whatever. Oh Go come look. on! People are naming their babies filter names. You're you didn't so read petty. that this week. No, what are the filter names? What? Like, I'll, what go, I'll, I'll go. I'm going to dig this up. So you guys talk a minute more. I'll I'll read it right out to you. What are the filter well, names? Like simple. foggy at the pull, edges. Pull <laughs> Oh, oh, this is Clarendons. Oh, oh. They're uh, I see uh, here. I could see naming. Okay, I love this. Clarendon. I love this research in real time. It's always so yeah, much fun. Okay. Who's Gino, got what? Moon, Lark, Reyes, Lux. Juno, Slumber, yeah. Trema, and Ludwig. Okay, and Ludwig. And Ludwig. <laughs> Ludwig. Is a, a filter. Valencia, Amaro, Mayfair, Amaro. Rise, I Hudson. Valencia. I bet you they're not naming their baby. These are not filters. Come this bullshit. The, the no, 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 no. last piece it's of not. criticism, as if there weren't enough, on poor Mark Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chan. Why didn't they name their baby after an Instagram filter? You didn't. You, guys, you didn't see that article? It was like cuckoo, oh. cuckoo. <laughs> a lot of people so, are naming their so babies the like, because they would have received a ration of shit if they had. Mary, what were you yeah. saying? I was just going to say the Valencia filter applies a gray and brown tint to photos, giving them a faded <laughs> antique experience. <laughs> and apparently people are naming their kid that. Well, I, think I, it's I, like, funny. I like the name Valencia. I'll go with that one. I like, I like Clarendon. But like foggy at the edges, I wouldn't name a kid or something. Like that. <laughs> Slumber would be tough. 
slumber. Well, Clarendon, Clarendon sounds good. I'm actually staring I'm at a picture of my little dog really wearing soon for his Steve Gilmore. Christmas sweater. Here. What is this, Francine? What? I'm applying all these filters to my dog <laughs> wearing his rooster Christmas sweater. There it is. And I'm I going to, from... I okay, to... well, I hope you, you'll, I hope you all will leave me a name of the show before we end because... I think you should call it Clarendon. Let Clarendon. everybody guess. Yeah. Clarendon? Guess what it is? <laughs> well, Clarendon what it is. is one of the streets downtown in Boston. When you come off of the park... The, all the streets are alphabetical. It's Arlington, Berkeley, Clarendon, Dartmouth. Yeah, Exeter. but I think we should just randomly name it after an Instagram filter. That's what I'm trying <laughs> to say. Definitely. <laughs> or maybe we should name it Max. There. Oh, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Over That's to the Anina. other way. Other Wait, way. I got to do it the other side. Yeah. It's Anina and Ed. Um, <laughs> after the show. With a and hammer? and then I used a bunch of filters on it and it, and so the the tech the caption is rebel yell she cried more more more. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I but I used like six filters. I was trying to see what filters I used. Elsewhere. So we're gonna call this Billy Idol, right? So you yeah. can use six the filters Billy Idol on filter. Instagram. Wait. Yeah, you can do a lot of filters, and it's like I did tons of them. You can do. This is what tons I think. I thought you could only do one filter per shot. I think I have to no. start using Instagram a lot more. I think I've got. Like really that's why I stopped using Instagram because it's so fucking complicated. It takes more Thank time you. to just filter it than just take a friggin' picture and post it. And I used to like it when there weren't five thousand choices. It's, yeah. Because you, you, you have to take big. the photo and then you have to go, let me try this, let me try this, let me try this. Well, let but me you try this one. Maybe this one's better. Maybe this, no, 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 original. Okay. You can always <laughs> just hashtag it no filter and put it up. That's what I do. I'm very lazy. I don't like I, all the social media page of like share it with this and that and like, oh, God, get over it. You know, it's too complicated. I loved it when it first came out. I have a whole well, bunch of pictures from like 2008 and 9. 18. And then we I need a millennial. Are you on saying the show. that? Are you saying that Facebook fucked it up? Come on, uh, Mally, say it, say it, say it, say it. <laughs> I just applied a filter to Hallie. She can't yeah. speak anymore. Okay. By the way, you didn't right, so. ask what my new show is about. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, hell yeah. Let's let's hear quickly, about quickly, this. Because I need you guys' help. It's going to be called Old and New, and it's at my local community TV cable place because they wanted people to do shows there. And it's going to be about tech and seniors, about using tech and, you know, because seniors are super savvy with tech, and I think they Old actually... Old and New. I love the name. I Fabulous. I love that a lot. Great, well, Francine, great you better concept. love it. You were my first guest. So. I'm going to be your first guest. <laughs> okay, great. Call, Wait just a call minute. me. I'm, I'm old ready. enough to be your first guest, right? I, I don't know if you're old enough. <laughs> uh, well, 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 I was old I enough to get a colonoscopy. Want, I think I'll I am. <laughs> I, I'm not inviting guests based on their date of colonoscopy, so don't worry. <laughs> well, maybe you're using the wrong algorithm. <laughs> maybe. That's it. That's what I'll use. I need a filter. You need a filter. You need a, filter, you right. need a colonoscopy filter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, bleh. Can you, oh, uh, that that's going to be my still for the show. Do that one more time. I see. Yeah. I love no, that. she I won't do it. She won't do <laughs> it. <laughs> just smiles now okay wrap it up wrap it up wrap it up all right here we go steve is tired we're bit. done we're done i don't need that steve get it out of here we <laughs> <laughs> he thinks i need the same is thing the he hook? does He's i don't get it hey, i'm so much better than that all right he said i don't need that get it out of here <laughs> yes all right um <laughs> We are using Ustream's platform to stream live and record G3 and the Gilmore Gang every week that we do. And thank you to Ustream. Uh, and thank you also to New Tech. They, um, they make this fabulous TriCaster, which I don't think you can even see in the shot because I didn't quite angle my camera <laughs> it's correctly this the time. But, and best use but of um, the TriCaster. you know, it's the TriCaster, and we've got the new uh update new software update and i think it's working and it's a freaking miracle um 
thank you to Steve for getting all this together. And thank you to Francine Hardaway, Hallie Suit Tucker, Mary Hodder. Um, we almost had Rebecca on. We will have Denise on before the end of the year. Can you believe Yay. it? Yeah. Did she say that? She said that. She said that. She because we're gonna we're gonna record on, on on a Tuesday or Wednesday, and she can do it. Um, we will be recording probably next week on Friday, and then the following week on a Tuesday or Wednesday. Check your check your local stations for more information, and um. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Let's get our logo together. Um, by the way, nobody commented on the fact that we now have a little G3 logo on our title bar. It looks good. What title bar? <laughs> you mean... Oh, well, you know, Mary, <laughs> when you I get... when you any title when bar. You, oh, well, that's, that's not oh, yours, right but there. that's Hallie's. That's mine. Except that, but, um, you know, I'm not Hallie. I know. <laughs> You want me to you want me to get it right? You want to get me to get it right? Okay, here we go. There you go. Little G three right there. We didn't have that before. Okay. Hey, I want hers. Okay, no, you can only have yours. No sharing. Okay. Um let's get our logo together and we'll say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my god, that was funny. Who is going to listen to Wait, that? I can't get the...